I'm talking about where you're going to play ball. Um, this one is a little unused, so I actually had to write. Um, I'm proud to recognize Victoria Hendrum for her hard work and dedication to her future. Victoria is one of 14 students from around the nation selected to be the foundation of Mississippi College, College of Honors. Mississippi College is ranked as the number one Christian college in the United States. The Honors College program is under the direction of the new president, Dr. Blake Thompson. Victoria will be shaping the future of the Honors College, helping create the code of ethics, the requirements, and the expectations for all future students. She will be meeting with leaders from across the country and the world, including representatives from the United States Congress and Senate. These students who were chosen, operative word chosen, no application needed, chosen for this college were identified as having integrity, intelligence, leadership potential, and believing that they will change the world. This is a full ride scholarship for four years, including international travel. Tori, you're Trojan strong. <laughs> you will make an impact on the world. We are proud of you. And parents, thank you for letting her come home. Tori, <laughs> uh, I would like for you and your parents to go over in front of our nice fat drop and have a picture or two taken. We'll start with the cake and the drinks in just a few minutes. But uh, Thomas has a way of organizing our pictures. It's parents, then it's family, then it's... Okay, hey, here with Tori. First of all, congratulations. The sweatshirt says it all right there. You're heading off to Mississippi College. And normally when a person watches on YouTube, the Millington Star, we have assignments for sports. But like Ms. Hill said, today Millington Central High School is celebrate historic moment, but you're getting an honors scholarship from Mississippi College. Talk about achieving that honor and the process that it took to get to. Um, well, ever since I was little, I've known I wanted to do something big with my life. I've wanted the opportunity to go and change the world, basically. And so since kindergarten, I've known I have to work hard, and you don't get what you want by not working hard. You have to put in the work. So I've done extracurricular activities. Um, I'm very involved in my church. I um, study. I'm always doing something. I never really sit still. Yes, um, and so all of that really just led up to the moment of them seeing what I feel like I had, which is the opportunity to be able to change the world. So. Wow, and that opportunity to be down in this in college, you will be majoring in law? Sure. I will be majoring in English composition. English composition. And then two minors, so um, sociology and Spanish. And then I will go to law school after my four years of oh. undergrad. Okay, wow, so you got a long academic career ahead of yes. But you get some travel in there, you get to go experience. What are some of the things that come along with this prestigious scholarship? Um, so we get um, opportunities to talk to esteemed people in the field of study we want. Um, we get to stay in the senior dorms, which freshmen don't get. Um, we will have our own facility in the next few coming years, so our own place to stay, our own cafeteria. Um, we will have um, between our junior and senior year, or a year, we will have an international travel, just us as an honors college. <laughs> and then we get, we are encouraged to do study abroad programs, and just we get to speak with people about the honors college. Um, so it's it's a lot. <laughs> wow, it yes. does sound like a lot. Yes. And it took a lot to get you here today. You just mentioned your church. What's the name of your church? Uh, First Baptist Millington. Okay, so we want to give First Baptist a shout out. Girl, they born here in Millington, grew up in Montford. So they had a little impact on you. Yes. I think you got a good friend, Cameron Bruce, that might be going out yes, there with you. She is. She is a so trusty scholar. Okay, so we're touring at Mohawk. Yes. So you roll with smart people. <laughs> and in the last few years, you've filmed a lot of relationships here at Millington. Mm -hmm. Talk about the Mohawk connection, the First Baptist connection, the Millington connection. How does the village help you get here today? Um, each. Each section has a different part. So Mumford was kind of my upbringing. I was there for my school. Um, they pushed me in the younger years to um, continue to work hard. And then my church has always been a big supporter. They just, um, they helped my leadership position. Plus, I, that's where I work, I work at the church. Um, and then just having a great youth pastor and friends who go there that have stayed with me along the way and helped me grow spiritually, which I believe is also another reason it's my spirituality is important to me, and so they help me grow in that part. And then Millington um, is my home. I have great 
assistant principals who believed in me. I have teachers who believed in me, like Miss Guy and um, Miss Watkins, and then great friends like Melissa Ayers and Sarah Cook and Laura Bailey, who have just been there for me. And, the lovelies. Yes, the lovelies <laughs> who have loved on me and just um, supported me through my decisions. So. Now, the foundation piece that God blesses you with like mom and dad. You've been blessed to have your mom and dad this whole journey. Now, I just got privy to this. Beginning of your senior year, you got hit with a uh, diagnosis because when a parent is diagnosed with cancer, it affects the whole family. Your dad was diagnosed with brain cancer. Mm -hmm. I know mom and dad helped you get here today, but when that diagnosis came, what did, how did it affect you, first and foremost? When I first found out, um, it was like my world was falling apart. It was, it was difficult, um, but we believe that God has a plan and that he gives his strongest battles to his strongest warriors. And I think that through that, it has just taught me to continue to just push and work hard. And my dad is, all, is proud of me and wants me to continue to work hard. And so even though he has been sick, I knew that that's what he wanted for me. Um, and that what all they really need to do is succeed and be proud. And so knowing that that might not, he might not get to see that, uh, it just wanted me to succeed even more. That's why today is takes on extra special meaning that he's here to see it yes. and enjoy the moment. Yes. Well, a couple more questions for you. When they, mom and dad talked about how strong you were growing up, how smart you were, how precocious you were, and how much strength you've shown. And they said during this ordeal, you displayed that strength. But how have you learned from your dad's strength and this and your mom's keeping everything together at this time? Uh, dad has been has been a warrior. I have never heard him doubt um, about what's going on. He's um, he's him and his mom are trying. Him and my mom are trying to keep it very normal for us as a family. And the fact that they can deal with his diagnosis and still support us as a family, it's uh, taught me to that I can handle a lot more than I think I can. Um, and to continue and it's helped to continue to grow and push myself because they sure have had to push themselves to still be able to take care of us and be here for me and you know not just be worried about that but still be worried about us as a full family. And so it's taught me that I can push myself even farther than I thought I could. So. And now Mr. College is going to be the next platform for you to push yourself. Got a little sister Abby looking at mm -hmm. you and I saw how you embrace her just now. How family is important to you. So my last question for you, when you get down to Mississippi College, the way you have gotten through this year and the strength you displayed through this year and making the most out of your senior year, having a special moment, what do you hope the next chapter is for you once you get down to Mississippi College? Um, I just, I want to make an impact of, in my new surroundings. I will be in a whole new environment with people I don't know. Um, just to make my stance and make my stance in my faith and then um, just be able to let people hear all around the nation what we're doing as an artist college because it's one of the opportunities we're given. Um, so I just want to, I guess, make an impact. Um, I don't really know what the future holds, yeah. but I do know that it's going to be something amazing because I'm going to continue to work hard just like and dedicate myself just like I have throughout high school. And, I appreciate this story. Thank you for sharing the moment with us. Congratulations.